first, it's showtime here in Berlin, where the film festival has gotten underway. Plenty of topical themes are addressed in the wide range of films, political crises, suffering in the Mideast, the dark side of globalization. British actress Tilda Swinton is president of the jury. The biggest crisis that we're all living under is some kind of credit crunch, which, of course, res resounds and resounds onto, onto the poorest people always. The Berlinale opened Thursday with the screening of The International, a political thriller about crime and evil bankers. What a coincidence, given the global financial meltdown. These people have all come to see Tom Tickwell's film. Director Tikwe loves the Berlin International Film Festival known as the Berlinale. He set several scenes of the International here on Potsdamer Platz, where much of the festival is being held. It's an action thriller. Yeah. It's me. I just got the results from the full tox analysis I ran on Schumer. And? It's inconclusive. Inconclusive? What the hell is that supposed to mean? They found trace elements of cyanide in his blood, but the levels are not nearly high enough to meet their criteria for poisoning. Are you there? The film is about a bank that finances international arms deals, while many authorities turn a blind eye. If you take a good hard look at this whole subject, sit down, do some research on the internet, all you need to do is enter the words, the world's most dangerous bank, and you get 280,000 hits. And among them are entries for companies like Citibank. You don't even want to know what lurks in the background there, how many court cases are pending. And it just goes on and on from there. Clive Owen plays British Interpol agent Louis Salinger. His sidekick is a New York lawyer played by Naomi Watts. Two idealists fighting a system interested in only one thing, profit. <laughs> Tikwa drew his inspiration from the American political thrillers of the 1970s in which nothing less than the ideals of peace, freedom and democracy were at stake. Those films were based on subjects like the assassination of John Kennedy, the Vietnam War and Watergate. What troubles us most these days is the feeling that while we may vote for our politicians and put them in office, they may not be the ones who make the decisions that affect our everyday lives. Or is it in reality the corporations that are behind things? The IBBC is a bank. Their objective isn't to control the conflict. It's to control the debt that the conflict produces. You see, the real value of a conflict, the true value, is in the debt that it creates. You control the debt, you control everything. The powerful opponent in the international is a bad bank in the truest sense of the term. Other films at this year's festival also deal with the bitter consequences of capitalism out of control. Fiction resonates strangely with reality. What it says about the power of cinema is that artists seem to have a seismographic sense. They can sense the rumblings and foresee what's about to happen in the world. The financial crisis didn't fall from the sky. It's been coming for a long time. Everything we already knew about globalization, about its negative effects, has become reality. Tikwa's heroes chase the unscrupulous bankers halfway around the world. The greedy control society from lofty heights and dispose of all who get in their way. After the premiere, the audience seemed pleased. 
The way they linked the crimes, the illegal machinations to the bank was really exciting. It's amazing. They started filming way before the crisis broke. I'm afraid it was very realistic. It makes you think. My heart was pounding the whole way through. Very exciting. Wonderful filmmaking. Wunderbares Kino. A highlight of the film is a shootout in New York's Guggenheim Museum. The International has proved to be a rollicking reworking of a tried and tested but still gripping genre.